Hello Spartan students and parents. Welcome to Back to School Night. My name is Mr. Smith. I teach chemistry and a lot of technology, but for right now in this semester, my only prep, my only course is chemistry. So I figured I would jump right into the course material. I can talk about myself a little bit later, but the course material is important to you guys and it will help you uh, help your student get the best grade possible. So you can access everything, everything in the course through Schoology. So I would hope that your student can direct you to the Schoology page for our course. And everything should be uh, available and laid out. The breakdown of the course grade is actually shown in these folders. We have 20% dedicated to Edgenuity, 20% dedicated to the QuickWrite, 20% to Labs, 20% to Assessments, and 20% to our Google Final. Well, what the heck are all those things? Let's jump into the syllabus. If you open it up, and you can open this up, it should always be visible. Uh, really fast, your students have seen all of this information before. Hopefully they can relay some of the things that we're talking about. But chemistry and this chemistry course is uh, going to be defined by the next generation science standards. That may be a little bit different than the way that you personally have been taught chemistry. Before, it was a lot of uh, teaching of factoids and memorization and rote skills that were uh, helpful, but it was a lot of asking students to know, no, 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 various things. Um, now, there's been a paradigm shift, and we're trying to train the next generation of scientists, not necessarily to hold on to factoids and to regurgitate information on tests, but instead we want them to be critical thinkers that can hopefully solve some of society's looming problems like climate change and energy acquisition. So hopefully, uh, in trying to conceptualize and visualize the universe in ways that uh, make sense, we can, we can develop those thinking skills. So um, our unit material that we'll be covering, if people are familiar with their own chemistry classes, we're going to start off with discussing matter and measuring matter and talking about the states of matter. Then we're going to move on to energy, which is a very, very big topic and something that is going to affect us all. Got to worry about that climate change. Uh, heat and energy in the Earth system. And then if we have time, hopefully we can address patterns and the properties of matter in Chem A. Otherwise, that'll be just pushed off to Chem B. Uh, all of your material can be accessed online through Schoology, including the textbook, including all the coursework. Uh, really quickly, there is no cell phone use in class unless specifically directed as per the request of the administration. So please tell your students to bring their devices every day. I do need them to have their laptops every day in class. That is a very important thing that, for them to have. However, they need to watch the cell phone use. Um, OK, great. We've got five parts to the course. We have a Google Quick Write. Every day, students will be becoming more well-versed in spreadsheets because every day they will submit responses. They will generate feedback to various topics. I will show you what this looks like. It is a spreadsheet that has lots and lots of information about all of the things that I'm requesting from them, including just uh, feedback to various questions about topics that we're going to be covering. Uh, this is something that they do on a daily basis. Hopefully they stay on top of it and they get those points. Those should be easy points. Edgenuity. Edgenuity is our courseware material that has all of our content. You can work on that at home. You can work on that if you're absent. Uh, it is all self-directed. I will be covering that every every so often in class so that the students can get over any material that they're having a difficulty with. Edgenuity, as a heads up, is the district credit recovery program. So if your student doesn't pass my class, hopefully they can take the experience they had with Edgenuity, run with that, and get on to uh, passing it through credit recovery. Labs, I have sent back 
lab safety waivers. Hopefully you have already filled those out because we have performed one of our labs and we will continue to do labs. Labs are, I think, the, the best part of science class. So I'm very excited to get back into the classroom and perform as many labs as possible. We'll also have some additional Schoology assessments to make sure that students really are mastering some of these topics, especially the mathematical topics, because they got to get the numbers right. If they don't get the numbers right, then uh, they're going to be some misconceptions potentially. And they will have a Google final project. That Google final project, I would really, really like for you guys to, your parents, uh, as parents, I would like for the students to demonstrate these these web websites to you. These are going to be something that the students will be developing as an online portfolio so that they can demonstrate their their knowledge in both chemistry, but as in tech as a whole, um, I think that this is an uh, an awesome way to have a professional online representation. You're going to be online. You're going to have a portfolio. People are going to be able to search you up in the future. When your students go to apply for jobs, that's what their bosses are going to be Googling. So I want them to have something that's very professional. And hopefully we do that with this Google site. This site will have various activities that they will be doing throughout the weeks that are tech activities to demonstrate their tech prowess. Um, it will also contain a lot of information about chemicals. So hopefully they pick up how these chemicals interact and impact them on a daily basis. Uh, they will hopefully come away with the class with a very strong mastery of Google Sites. I'll show you some of the pages. Uh, you can reach my my own personal website is a Google website actually at brianteaches.com and you know I might as well uh, pivot there to tell you more about myself again I am I am Brian I am Mr. Smith uh, I prefer Smith to the students uh, I am a Bruin I actually grew up pretty locally my mother was a Silmar alumni graduated in 77 went on to a career in science she is a nurse midwife uh, she has served the uh, San Fernando and Pacoima community for many years and um, I think that that's uh, a really good thing is to give back and that's why I, I love science for that so you can really really give back to your community in terms of health sciences or education um, I grew up in Canyon country myself I went to UCLA I am a Bruin I went to Northridge for my credential and my master's in science education. If you go to my chemistry website, you can reach my main website at brianteaches.com. My chemistry website has a little bit more information about that. Um, the students can, can find out. It's my fifth year teaching here. I also am responsible for the eSports club and the coding club on campus. Um, and uh, well, personally, I live with my wife and my uh, toddler son. He's one years old, so I know how important it is. I know how important it is to get your students to be the most learned individuals that they can become so they can have the most career success that they can. Um, that covers a considerable amount of the course. Um, this Google site, well, I mean, it can be a valuable experience. In fact, you guys might be navigating here through Google Sites, through our back to school site that I helped put together. Um, and you know what? If your students follow through with all of the activities, they too can be great members of the community that can helpfully give back by way of the technology skills that they acquire, the science skills they acquire. I'm looking forward to a good year. If you have any questions, you can contact me at that contact information right here at bsmith57 at gmail or brian.smith1 at lausd.net. I look forward to hearing from you guys, and uh, I hope you enjoy the rest of your back-to-school night. Have a good one.